Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I will give you an update on my Guild Raid play. The Guild Raid started in November 2021 and is already in its fourth month. I didn't understand Guild Raid when it first started, but recently I've come to understand how Guild Raid works, and I'm playing it without any confusion. Now, since Guild Raid is a newly started game element, all players started playing Guild Raid at the same time. However, Guild Raid will range from level 65 to level 160, giving an advantage to guilds on older servers that have been playing Hero Wars for longer. If you are playing on a server that started last summer or fall, it may be difficult to even beat a level 100 boss, but if you belong to a guild with a single digit server number, you can easily beat a level 130 boss. In my guild, Gravity, we have been able to defeat a level 140 boss in a weekend boss fight for two weeks now. It's not that I'm active, it's just that the fierce players in my guild are rapidly getting stronger, and my guild is now capable of defeating level 140 boss. Now, this document is a list of the approximate overall strength of the team formation needed to fight the weekend's boss battle, based on my own prejudices. Some heroes are active in boss battles, so I know I can't simply talk about guild rail based on the overall power of the team formation. Kark and Kai are not good standalone heroes for boss fights, and on the other hand, there are heroes like Orion and Chu who are good in boss fights. Even though there are differences in team formation, I made this chart as a rough guide that if you have this level of overall power, you should be able to fight a guild raid boss battle for about 2 minutes without losing. Not many people have 25 heroes up to maximum power, even if they are fighting a guild raid with 5 team formations. Many guilds participating in the Gold League Guild War of Guildmates who have multiple team formations with over 800,000 total power, but it takes a lot of time for a light user to have multiple team formations with over 800,000 total power. In my case, my main team has about 770,000 power, but my second team has only 450,000 power. You're really weak? I should mention at this time that I try to create a guild battle when a non-server 11 viewer watching this video greets me in private chat. Also, when I play against people from servers later than server 11, I usually lose in most guild battles. Well, in my case, rather than appealing my presence with strength, I'm appealing my presence as a symbol of Hero Wars fans representing Japan, so it's okay if I lose in guild battle in private chat. Now, I know that many of you are working hard to play Hero Wars to reach team level 130, but I hope this chart will help you understand how strong you need to be in order to fight satisfactorily in Guild Raid. To be honest, I feel that Guild Raid, which requires 5 team formation, is too high a threshold, considering that I cannot satisfactorily create the 3 team formations needed to fight satisfactorily in the Grand Arena. That's why I believe the best way to win the Hero Wars is to thoroughly train one main team no matter what. I believe that only heavy users should train a variety of heroes, while a light user should focus on the 5 heroes of the main team, what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.